Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I thought I'd do a video today on the topic of antisocial personalities, otherwise known as sociopaths, that I've discussed many times before in my blogs. From my research I found that amongst human beings on earth today, people that seem to have mammalian or human values Maybe one in 20 has uh, sociopathic values. And amongst people who are leaders of society or have powerful positions in society, they say that one in five people may be a sociopath or an antisocial personality. Nevertheless, these people who have more in common in terms of values with the insect world or the reptile world pass for human and they're able to deceive people with more human values into believing that they're the same as them quite frequently from at least from my reading how do they do this that's the question i am hoping that this video will help young people and old people, all kinds of people, to understand more and to be able to spot the sociopath despite his or her many disguises. Okay, so how do they deceive people? The human face can express many different emotions. Without the emotions, the human face might look more like this. Just a face with physical features and no particular emotional affect. You see? It has the eyebrows, it has the eyes, it has the nose, it has the mouth, and it has the contour of a face. And yet there is something lacking. So this, this face that the sociopath has is his passport to appearing human, though he may be a reptoid or an insectoid, actually, in terms of values. Or she. She may do that, too. Because there are also many sociopaths who are women. Obviously, makeup and manner of expression have a lot to do with our presentation in the world. And people make snap judgments based on makeup, clothing, and the emotional affect that's displayed on the face without considering whether that aspect is truly felt in the heart and whether that aspect truly expresses a person's genuine emotions at the moment. For instance, the sociopath may say to himself, I know a man who is really rich and very popular, and I feel that social status has a lot to do with my passing for a regular human being in the world. I will wear false authority or a false mask that makes me seem to be very rich and acceptable to other human beings. Now this sociopath might decide to look like a yuppie for instance, a laid-back yuppie with children or grandchildren and he might really be a con artist, a grifter, even a hitman, you just don't know. But he appears to be the type of man that every woman looks for, a very rich man who can provide for her and her children. So on Facebook, he might place a picture of himself with a wife and children, or with a wife and grandchildren. And it might well be that he murders them too fast to have a family around. He might be renting a wife-looking actress 
and children or grandchildren looking actors and putting those on Facebook so that he appears to be a family man who is a yuppie and who is really, really rich. And that is one of the ways that, that sociopaths get by in the world. Um, they pretend to be, for instance, in some cases, PhDs or MDs or um, lawyers. They might pre pretend to be policemen or other authority figures and they might have n not that ability. They might be very intelligent. They might be able to read up on one of these occupations and pretend in that way. Or they might be able to wear clothes that make other people believe that they have authority in the world, including rich clothes, renting rich cars, and things like that. Now, here is another possibility. Suppose you're a sociopathic a woman, an antisocial personality who has many traits unlike those of most human beings. You know that you're very different, but you also know that sexual allure is one way to cause people to have snap judgments about you that are favorable. And so, you wear a mask of allurement a mask of great sexuality. And so, people see, at first glance, they see the mask. They see a beautiful, glamorous woman. A beautiful woman. They don't see you, the sociopath. And being this kind of person is pretty easy to do because you can walk into any department store and get made up with special makeup and a special hairdo, a special dress. You can wear shapewear. You can wear high heels. You can walk into any bar or restaurant and be looked upon with envy by other women and with admiration by men. And if you look like this, if you look like this, it's very easy to find yourself um, a husband. And that husband might be the very one that you intend to poison and take their money. Or you might just take their money and run. A lot of men, they fall for allurement. And so a favorite, uh, a favorite look of the female sociopath is the very sexy woman. Now there are some looks, some social masks that the sociopath can wear that are unusual and important to look out for because they're very deceptive. One might be the very spiritual man, a sociopath who's really a man uh, who, for whom anything goes, anything at all goes. They want what they want in this life, but they pretend to be a very spiritual man, a man of great power in some religion, right? And the women will give him this man money because they think he's a very holy man. Now, some very holy men are very holy, and some are just putting on a social act. In fact, there, I have found that there are groups of people that pretend to be holier than thou, but are, are full of sociopaths and are acting on a very low budget and who need money desperately because they're not that nice, as people find out later on. And so... Um, they might put you on a, a donor list, a bequest list, the type of situation where if you were dead and as a sociopath, they don't mind that. If you were dead, they'd have your money. They might even have a group of hitmen that go out and kill people. So I would suggest be very careful with nonprofit organizations and with 
spiritual groups that seem to be operating on a very low budget and which look really spiritual. Try to find out what's really so. See behind the social mask of the spiritual seeming person. Well, I have one other for you, but I think you know quite a bit about that one already. Sometimes people pretend to be living a really pure lifestyle, very pure lifestyle. But the fact of the matter is they're living in luxury, they're having a wonderful time of it, and as people all often like to point out, they might have a harem of women. They might have, um, they might be indulging in all kinds of vices, but before the public eye, they seem to be very spiritual people, and so they're looked well upon. Now, mind you, there are quite a few people who have spiritual intentions and who look spiritual for a genuine reason. So it's up to you to figure out whether they are what they seem to be. Here in the realm of duality, that's the game. Now, I have one other thing for you. So, here is what the, the face looks like without any emotional affect on it. The very first thing that a sociopath learns is to present their facial features without relationship to their true feelings. You might see this and the truth of the matter might be Lucky Luciano, the well-known gangster and mafia guy. Underneath all that, you could see, were you to see their emotional body, you might see this, the great soul wounding that, that is truly within them, the great acting out that occurs in their daily lives. You can see on this picture the scars this man has. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look how one eye looks down and one eye looks forward. Steely-eyed. No milk of human kind kindness. No light of love. No character of commitment. This man might walk right up to you and then stab you. So, it's up to you. Dear ones, you have to figure it out. Don't let superficial appearances deceive you. Look at the face. Decide whether the person is expressing their true heart or whether they are only pretending. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.